This is it right here. Watch Wilkins. He takes the towel of Kamara. Oh, yeah, you about to get it. You about to get it right there. You about to get this. No, don't say that. What's up, Raider Nation? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel and you would like to support the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell so you're notified every time I drop brand new content. And please leave me a comment. I'll definitely respond to you guys. And please like this video. The last few videos, you guys have been really killing it, but we haven't reached our goal of at least 200 likes. So please like this video so we can get to at least 200 likes, everybody. Well, Raider Nation, the NFL free agency legal tampering period officially begins today, Monday. And there's already been some big signings. You know, Chris Jones just signed a five-year extension with the Kansas City Chiefs. And also, the Pittsburgh Steelers have signed Russell Wilson to a one-year deal. So that scratches two names off the list. I was surprised that the Chiefs picked up Chris Jones. But I'm happy that the Steelers picked up Russell Wilson so we can start with the idea of Russell Wilson joining the silver and black. So now that Chris Jones is off the board, we should switch our attention to Christian Wilkins. I believe Christian Wilkins should be the Raiders' next top target. And in the comments, you guys have been saying, hey, the Raiders should go after either Leonard Williams or Christian Wilkins. If it was up to me, I would take Christian Wilkins. But nevertheless, Leonard Williams is a great fit. He played with the Giants back when Patrick Graham was the defensive coordinator. So Patrick Graham has some experience with working with Leonard Williams. Another name to keep in mind is Eric Armstead, another defensive tackle that just decided not to re-sign with the San Francisco 49ers. It is said that he decided not to take a pay cut, so the San Francisco 49ers are deciding to release him. I would take any three of these guys. Like I've been saying in my prior videos, I believe the Raiders need interior pass rush help. Max Crosby, Malcolm Coons, that's not enough to go against guys like Patrick Mahomes or Justin Herbert. We need all the firepower we can afford. And I believe if we bring in Christian Wilkins or even a Leonard Williams or shoot, maybe even an Eric Armstead, I believe our defense will take it to a whole new level. Now, all three of these guys are under 30. Christian Wilkins is 28 and Leonard Williams and Eric Armstead are both 29 years of age. Those guys have plenty of years left in the tank. So it's really pick your poison. Who would rather you have? Like I said, I personally would love Christian Wilkins. He has a great chemistry with some Raiders already. I know Max Crosby gets along with them. So I believe he would fit really well on this defense. Antonio Pierce has said time and time again that he wants guys who fit the team. Not everybody is meant to be a Raider. And I believe Leonard Williams fits to be a Raider. He is the model of a Raider. I believe he was a Raider fan growing up, so he would come in and fit right in very well. Like I said, Raider Nation, he already has experience working with Patrick Graham in his system back when Patrick Graham was the defensive coordinator for the New York Giants. So there's a little bit of chemistry there. Could Patrick Graham get into Tom Telesco's ear and, and persuade Tom Telesco to sign Leonard Williams? I would believe so. Like I said, the legal tampering period begins on Monday. So get ready, Raider Nation. It's going to be a hell of a ride these next few days. We're about to see who we get, who we sign. You know, the Raiders have already decided to bring back Andre James. So the left side of the offensive line is set. We already got Colton Miller, Dylan Parham, and now Andre James. But we're missing a right guard and a right tackle. I expect the Raiders to swing big and bring in a guard this offseason. Now, it was said that they were planning on moving Dylan Parham to the center if they didn't decide to bring back Andre James. But it seems though that they didn't want to have to sign two guards this offseason. It seems like they're only going to go after one guard. So like I said, the Raiders are going in the right direction. Who we bring in in these next few days will really tell on just what type of team we're creating to build this 2024 season. 
without are the guys of Brian Hoyer, Jimmy Garoppolo, just to name a few. I expect Hunter Renfro to be on the trading block. I don't believe there's enough space on him on this Raiders roster. We already have Trey Tucker. We already have a Jacoby Myers. You know, we're probably going to sign a receiver, but not to be that number two guy. Jacoby Myers is a hell of a number two. And also, that we haven't even said anything about Josh Jacobs. I expect Josh Jacobs to come back to the silver and back. But that's only if he's willing to take a pay cut. I know Tom Telesco is not going to be willing to drop the bag on a running back. When he was the GM for the Chargers, he was reluctant to pay his running backs. Just look at the last two big running backs he had on his roster. Melvin Gordon never got an extension. And Austin Eckler never got a deal. And those, both of those guys held out, they returned to their team, and they just never were the same running back. So I believe that if Josh Jacobs wants to be a Raider, he's going to have to take a pay cut. Now, it's being said that Josh Jacobs wants to get paid. Wherever team he goes to, he's going to want the bag. I believe he cares more about the money than winning. I think winning is taking a back See, I believe he's a family man. He's got kids. So he wants the security. He wants the longevity in his career. I would love Josh Jacobs to be back with the Raiders, but time will tell in the next few days what's going to happen. The free agent market is wide open. There's plenty of running backs. Shoot, there's plenty of defensive backs that are going to be available. Justin Simmons just got released from the Broncos. It seems as though the Broncos are unloading on their team and they're in full rebuild mode. So with that being said, they're in the 12th overall pick right now. Who knows if they're willing to move up in the draft and secure a quarterback? I would expect so. So it's going to be very interesting what these Raiders do in the next few days. Are we going to sign a Gardner Minshew? Because Baker Mayfield is now officially off the list. He has decided to return to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He signed a three-year extension with them just this past weekend. So the market is starting to close, guys. All the top players that we were talking about this offseason seem to already found a destination. Some of them are returning back to their teams. Some aren't. So the Raiders are really going to have to do their due diligence on on the quarterback, on the pass rushers, and also on the offensive line. It's going to be really telling on who Tom Telesco brings to this team. The Raiders also released Jerry Tillery. So that was going to be an obvious, you know, he was on the Chargers where Tom Telesco was. Tom Telesco drafted him and now he released him as the GM as the Raiders. Like I said, Raider Nation, I want the Raiders to go and get Christian Wilkins. I believe if we bring in Christian Wilkins, our defense will take our step to a whole new level. We need more pass rushers. Shoot, we need another corner. Xavier Howard is out there. Could we possibly go get a veteran corner? I believe we need a veteran corner as well. I don't believe we have a true number one. Don't get me wrong. Jack Jones is a beast. So is Nate Hobbs. So is Amik Robertson. All those guys are respectable number two corners. But we definitely need a number one lockdown corner. A guy that we could put on an island and take away the offense's best receiver. We haven't had one since Nandi. Shoot, people are going to say Charles Woodson. But when Charles Woodson came back in his second stint, he was converted to a safety. So that does it for this video, Raider Nation. With free agency officially beginning this week... Who is your guys' top pick that you guys want them to go after? In the comments, you guys have been saying Christian Wilkins and Leonard Williams. Like I said, I personally would love Christian Wilkins, but shoot, I would take any of the two. Shoot, I would even take Eric Armstead. I want the Raiders to really go after a pass rusher this year. Even It's even being said that the Chargers are willing to move off from Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack. Maybe Jim Harbaugh is trying to go into rebuild mode with the Chargers. Could those two pass rushers possibly be available this week? Only time will tell. So that does it for this video, Raider Nation. Like I said, leave me a comment and please like this video so we can get at least a 200 likes and the rest of Raider Nation could see this video. And until next time, Raider Nation, peace.